is Zero at Disney Cars Toy Club, and today we're doing another egg video for you guys. We're going to be opening up 16 blind boxes, 6 Play-Doh eggs, a Kinder Joy chocolate egg, and finally the Chinese Zodiac figure. Now we're going to start the video off by opening up the Kinder Joy egg that's right here in the front row. And I was reading through some of the comments from a week or two ago, and some people were a little upset that I wasn't showing the chocolate anymore in these eggs. But I kind of figured you guys wouldn't want to see the chocolate because I've already shown it so many times. But here it is, one more time. This one actually looks like it's getting kind of old, so I probably won't eat that one. But this is what most of you guys probably want to see anyways. This is going to be the toy, and this looks like one that I've gotten before. And these are actually kind of hard to get them to spin and knock into one another. Maybe I can kind of help it there because that's pretty much all this toy does. So it's not the best Kinder Joy toy. In fact, they make some better spinning top toys in some of these where you actually use the egg to kind of guide it around. But there we go with that. Let's go ahead and open up this Marvel Vinylmation. This is series number two. This is the Spider-Man series. We didn't do any of these last week. We also didn't do any of the Series 1 as well. And let's see what we got here. Looks like we got the Spider-Man boss, the newspaper guy. I can't think of his name. There it is. Jonah Jameson. J.J. Jameson. I couldn't, you know, I've watched all the Spider-Man movies, but I couldn't think of what his name was. I just don't pay attention to stuff like that. But on his ear right there, it says Spider-Man Hero or Menace. So pretty nice looking character. Go ahead and set him down. That, I think that's the first one of those that we've gotten. I don't think we've gotten him before. Here is the Series 1. Now this is the really expensive, hard to find series. We've gotten some of the characters that I wanted to get, like the Iron Man, the super rare Thor. But we're still missing most of them. We haven't opened that many of these yet. So hopefully we won't get a duplicate, and we didn't. So it looks like we got Ultron. And if you notice, he's not actually on the box because he is the mystery chaser figure. And the new Avengers movie trailer that just released a few days ago, that trailer looks really good. I think Ultron's going to be a pretty cool enemy in that movie. So we'll go ahead and set that down. And let's open up the Chaos Bunnies. We haven't done one of these in a very long time, and we've been getting some comments asking when we're bringing them back. I still have like three, I think three left. So it looks like we got the Snow Bunny, I believe. Let's see, which one is this? This is, yeah, this is the Snow Bunny. And here's a look at our Snow Bunny with the ears on. That's one of the more cuter ones in that series. Still missing the rare sea snail right there. Have not gotten that one yet, and we're coming down to the last few boxes, so hopefully he's gonna be in one of the last three. Now, let's go ahead and open up the BFFs. Again, this is probably the most requested blind box on the channel. We've opened maybe seven or eight of these so far, but they get requested like crazy every week. So if you guys want to just keep requesting them, we'll keep showing them. Let's see what we got. This one definitely feels like a new one. And it is. So we got a tape cassette and a magnet, and it is Maxwell and Earl. So one in 16 chance on the back. You can't erase true love. So I'll get that taken out. We'll see what it looks like. And if you notice right here on the tape, it says Best Friends Forever Mix. It's got the Exos right there. Rock and Roller. Now, if I remember correctly, it's been a long time since tape cassettes were around, but I think the magnet actually would erase a tape cassette if I remember right. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong. Your, your parents might know the answer to that one, but again, it says you can't erase true love. So I think that's what that, that symbolizes. But if you notice in the picture, the magnet's kind of hanging off to the side but the way that they made the hole it doesn't really work that way well I guess you can kind of sit it like that but it works a lot better when you just jam it in there <laughs> so set that down now let's open a play-doh egg let's knock a puppy over while we're at it or poodle and this was this is actually play-doh surprisingly my wife made this she used to be a cake decorator so as you can see she did a really good job on that. That's probably one of the nicest looking Play-Doh creations that, that I've shown here on the channel so far. I'm not sure I like the, uh, the vine as much, but that rose is pretty awesome. But let's see what we got in our first Play-Doh egg. Now this was one that was requested. This is the first one that I've shown of this. There's 12 different characters to collect. 
I don't know what these look like, so I'm actually excited to see what this is gonna be. And what's really neat about these is when you flip them around, they have another face. Wow, that is awesome. Those are so cool. Thank you to whoever requested those. And here's a look at the other one. Oh, he's got like a little wolf on the back. Wow, these things are awesome. These, these are just so cool. I really like the fact that they got two faces. That's really creative. And here's the two puzzle pieces. There's, there's what it looks like. Now, let's go ahead and open up another Play-Doh egg. And of course, his tongue falls off as I pick him up. Now, obviously, this was one that I made. <laughs> so, we'll get that taken off. And this is going to be another new blind box. This was actually in a blind box. I took it out of the box. This is the Sackboy Superstar Series 1. Now, this was also one that was requested. It's going to be the first one that I've shown. And I have played quite a bit of Little Big Planet. And in fact, I did a few Little Big Planet videos on one of my gaming channels. And he comes with a little sombrero. And you know what's funny about this one is I actually had a character that looked a lot like this. He had the little sombrero and the mustache. I don't think I had this poncho though, but I did have the sombrero. There's a look at the back. He's got the little zipper back there. And I think they're making a new little big planet for the PlayStation 4, so that should be pretty cool. I might get that one. I haven't made up my mind on that just yet. And I did, for those of you that watched the Minecraft video, I did end up getting the uh, Vita Minecraft game, and I've actually been playing that all week. And let's see what we got for our finders keepers. Oh, did we get the... No, we didn't. So, <laughs> This is the Holiday 2 and 20. Now, in one of the videos, I think it was last week, I called this the Flying Cow, but it's the Flying Pig, I guess, is what I should have called it. But I almost got excited there. I thought we had gotten the rare one. Now, let's grab this Doctor Who blind box that's back here. Now, the last one, the first one that we opened was this one right here. And I wasn't that thrilled about that figure. I, that wasn't the most exciting figure that I've seen come out of a collectible blind box. So hopefully this one, this one actually feels like another one of those. If it's the same exact one, I'll, I'll be sure and open another one for you guys. Okay, it's a blue one at least. Last week we got the red one. And it comes with these little missiles and pieces right here. So I'll get it put together real quick and show it to you. So here's our blue contraption. I'm not even going to try to pronounce it because last week I tried and I got it wrong. So <laughs> I'm just going to call it the blue thing out of the box. We'll go ahead and set that down. And, you know, I cleaned off the table and I was looking at this. I almost feel bad about throwing this away. But just so you guys can see that this actually is Play-Doh, as you can see, that really was a Play-Doh flower. I was looking at it. I was like, man, that doesn't even look like Play-Doh. There it is. So we'll go ahead and set that down and let's open up the Fat Cap Series 3. I really like these blind boxes. The more of these that I open, the more I like them. And what do we got? Oh wow, we got a grenade. So this is the grenade Fat Cap. Now the interesting thing about, oh okay, you can pull it out. So he's got a little pin that you pull out. Wow, that is awesome. Now some of you guys have been asking, do these actually spray? No, they do not. They do rattle like a spray can, but they don't actually spray anything. So nothing happens when you push down. But there's our grenade fat cap. That is so neat that it's got a pen that actually pulls out. I was looking at it, I'm like, man, they covered up the spray, the spray nozzle, but it does come out. So we'll set that down and let's open up the Whiskers and Tails vinyl mations. I had to look at the side of the box. I forgot the name of it for a second. I was going to ask you guys in this video, what Vinylmation would you guys like to see next? And this is going to be a new one. This one is Baby Pegasus. Wow, look at this one. That is awesome. That one might be my favorite one that we opened today. <laughs> Here's a look at the back. He's got some wings. And the blue and the white, just man, that looks so nice. Look at that. But back to what I was saying, I was going to ask you guys, what Vinylmation would you like to see next? There are some Star Wars Vinylmations, which I've read a few comments from people out that say they'd like to see the Star Wars ones next. But there's a lot of other ones, so just comment and let us know which one would you like to see next, because I am going to be ordering some more soon. So this is going to be a one-piece blind box. I'll go ahead and get him taken out of the package. We'll see what he looks like. 
So here's our One Piece character. This was another subscriber requested blind box. This is one that I'm not that familiar with. I've never played any of the One Piece games or watched any of the shows. So again, not really familiar with this series. Go ahead and set that down and let's open up this giant flower Play-Doh egg. Of course, I grabbed it by the flower, but this was another one that she made, of course. <laughs> let's go ahead and get the Play-Doh off here. A lot of Play-Doh on there. So this is going to be the Minecraft Hangers Surprise Pack. We've been doing a little bit more Minecraft stuff on the channel. You guys hit the like button quite a bit on that last Minecraft video, so we will be doing more in the future. And I believe this one is the sheep, if I remember right from playing the game. So it looks like a sheep anyways. Not exactly sure what you can do with these as far as hanging them. I mean, I guess you could use it as a keychain, but that would be one pretty big keychain. So they'd probably be better like hanging on the back of a backpack or something like that. Now let's open up the Royal Pride. This is going to be the Toki Doki blind box. Yet another subscriber requested one. Just going to rip the, the back of it off. And where's our tear strip? There it is. Those things are so small, it's hard to see them. We got a new one. So here's our little kitty. Now, some of you guys were kind of commenting saying these are all lions, but I don't think they are. I mean, that one's definitely a poodle, and this one looks like a cat. So they're not all lions, even though it's called Royal Pride. She's got like a little diamond ring on her hand, and for the bag, not really too much going on with the bag. It's got the little Toki Doki symbol right there, and she's got an earring. It's kind of a cute one. Now, if you guys notice, we're not doing Mufia this week because there wasn't really a lot of comments asking to see the Mufia for this video, but there was quite a bit for the uh, Royal Pride. Oh, wow. Okay, so <laughs> I was talking about something else. I so wasn't even paying attention. This is the Ultimate Spider-Man blind box, and it looks like we got, is that Green Goblin? It's kind of hard to tell. I think it's Green Goblin, let's see. Yeah, there we go. Green Goblin. So this is the Green Goblin. I was looking at him. His face doesn't exactly look like the Green Goblin, but I'll put them together real quick and we'll take a better look at him. So here's a look at our Green Goblin blind box character. And for those of you wondering where you can buy this blind box, all I can say is good luck because this was the only case that I saw on eBay. I've never seen these anywhere else. I don't know if it's because they're just so new that they haven't really been released you know everywhere yet or if they're just super hard to find but there is our green goblin now he does actually look a little bit more like the green goblin now when i first was looking at him i couldn't really tell who it was i guess he's kind of like the older old school like comic book green goblin now let's go ahead and open up the labbit series one this was another one that gets heavily requested seems like a lot of you guys like the labbits they are cute like little marvel superhero rabbit characters and finally, we got the Red Skull, and he's got Captain America's shield. So there's a look at our Red Skull. You know, as much as I like the last uh, Captain America movie, I really didn't like the first one. I really didn't like that Captain America movie, but the last one was really good. And you know what's exciting about this video is we really haven't gotten that many duplicates. The only one that we've gotten that I've already showed you guys was the uh, blue snow bunny down there. Now, let's go ahead and open up the Sailor Moon figure. I know a lot of you watching are fans of this. Some of you guys aren't really wanting to see the anime blind boxes, but I really like the anime blind boxes myself. Now, we did get this character already, but this is like a different version of her. There's two different versions of each character. One is winking and one is not winking, so this is going to be the one that's winking. And I'll get her taken out of the package real quick and show her to you. So here she is, and the only thing that I don't like about these Sailor Moon blind boxes, which I think this set is new, if I'm not mistaken, I think this is one of the newest Sailor Moon sets. The only thing I don't like about it is the fact that they're they're so similar. The only difference between them is one is winking and one is not. I kind of wish they would have given them a little bit of a different pose or a different look or just something different besides just winking. I don't know. That, that's just me. But let's go ahead and open up. This is going to be the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Kid Robot figures. And I only have a couple of these left. There might be three. I don't know. It's like two or three left. There's not very many. We're still missing one or two of the characters. Looks like we got Krang here. 
There's his little funny picture of his head right there. That was the one thing that I didn't like about this set is that they just kind of plastered painted his face on right there. But we're still missing, I think we're still missing Shredder if, I, if I'm not mistaken. I don't think we've gotten Shredder. So hopefully he's going to be in one of the last few boxes. And here's the Chinese Zodiac minifigure series. This is going to be the Ox, which is for the years 2009, 1997, 1985, 1973, 1961, and 1949. Now this is actually the final figure to show to you guys. We've shown all of the other ones. They've been in either a Play-Doh Egg video or a Blind Box unboxing video. So we have shown all the characters for the series. This is the last one. So I'll get it taken out of the package and we'll take a look at it. And here's our goofy ox, and you can actually turn his head sideways, so that's pretty neat. And for the legs, uh, I don't think, he, yeah, you can't move the legs, but you can turn his head and kind of pose it in different ways. I'm actually a little disappointed this is the final one. I was having so much fun showing these to you guys, so it's a little bittersweet showing the last one. We'll go ahead and set that down, and let's open up this Play-Doh egg. There's the butterfly on it. I'm sure you guys know who made this one. It'll be fun. Maybe we should do a video and I'll let you guys guess on who made which egg. <laughs> you probably, if you've watched enough of my videos, you probably know what types of eggs that I make. So it should be easy to tell the two apart. And we got this one again. Man, we've gotten like two or three of these. So what I'm going to do for you guys, since we've already gotten this one like three times now, I'm going to open one more. And here it is. This is actually the final Adventure Time surprise pack that I have. So doesn't matter what this is I can't open any more of them hopefully it's not the same one this one's actually not on the base okay this is definitely a new one I'm wondering why she's not on the base let's go ahead and pop her in real quick there we go so there she is and Adventure Time is another series that I haven't actually sat down and watched so I don't know the names of these characters I want to sit down and watch it especially if it's a funny cartoon I like funny cartoons now let's open up this is gonna be the brand new blind box for this week this is the Donatello series. I want to say Donatello like a Ninja Turtle, but this is the Donatello and her sweet friends. These are mini plush blind boxes. So this should be interesting. I don't think I've opened any plush blind boxes in the past. I'm actually going to have to cheat a little bit. I couldn't get it open with my hand. I'm, I'm afraid to cut into this because it's a plush figure. I don't want to, I don't want to rip it. Oh wow. Look at this. So here is our first Donatello plush. Wow, that thing's awesome. It's got a little donut around its neck. It's got little sprinkles on the top. Of course, you could use this as a keychain if you wanted to. That'd be a neat keychain to have. It's a little big. Now, these look kind of like the cactus pups. I don't know what, you know, they use the same designs for a lot of these, so it looks like a cactus pup to me. We'll go ahead and set that right there in the middle. And since this is a new blind box and this is the first time we're opening it, I'm gonna do two of them in this video. And for this one, same thing, no tear strip. I, I can't stand when these surprise packs don't have a tear strip because they're so much easier to open. You don't have to worry about ripping something up or tearing it. Okay, looks like we got a plush unicorno. So it's got little sprinkles on its back. You know what, I think I might actually just like hang one of these from my ceiling. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna put one of these in my room. I don't know which one, it might be this one right here, but I'm gonna hang it from the ceiling, just have it kind of hanging there. There's our little plush unicorno. Very neat. Set that down. And we're down to our final two Play-Doh eggs. Let's go ahead and get this one opened up. And once again, we have the My Little Pony. Some of you guys keep requesting the Series 11 and I keep looking for it and I just haven't found it yet. But I'm still looking for Series 11. And for this one, we got Mosley Orange. Here's Mosley. It's not one of my more favorite color schemes on these, but it's still a nice looking one. Set that down and let's open up the final Play-Doh egg that's already falling apart as I'm, as I'm grabbing it here. And for this one, we got a new surprise pack. This is gonna be the Marvel grab zags I guess this one was actually requested somebody told me about these I went and looked them up and they look pretty neat it was one of you guys requested it last week I think and they got here pretty quickly and it looks like we got an incredible Hulk pin for the first one here's a look at the 
package. These are some of the different characters that you can get. There's pins, but there's also the minis. The minis is what I really want. The Spider-Man mini looks pretty cool. Also that Spider-Man black right there. That's what I'm really aiming to get out of these, but here's the pin. Not a big fan of the pin. And like I mentioned earlier in the video, this actually did end up being my favorite item that I opened up today. I really like the Carolina blue ears and the white on this one. The little wings are just really cute. That's definitely going to be my favorite item that I opened today. Of course, I am from North Carolina, so it's no surprise that the Carolina blue is my favorite color. But if you did enjoy the video, be sure to press the like button. That does help support the content on this channel, and it allows us to continue making more videos like this. Also, again, if there's a specific blind box or surprise pack that you want to see more of or don't want to see more of, just be sure and comment below. We do read the comments for the first few days after the video has been posted. This is Disney Cars Toy Club, and as always, thanks for stopping by.